You look amazing. Thank you. I haven't seen you in a long time. You used to invite me over to your bathroom and play songs for I me. I know, but I was on tour. Yeah, I know. Really How's that going? It was so fun. It was spiritual. Are you done? I have four more shows. I have two shows at the Forum, which is going to be crazy. Two shows at the Forum. And then I'm closing out Irvine Meadows, or closing it down, so I'm doing the two last shows at Irvine Meadows. Wow, so. congratulations. Thank you. And you're having fun? It was magical. Cause yeah. I feel like, I felt like Rocky at the top of the steps. Like, I did it! Like, I'm on tour! Like, it was such a crazy year, and then making that record, and then actually being face-to-face -face with, like, the people that loved me and supported me through the year, and listened to the music, and it was like this big exchange of love, and I feel like I had this epiphany that they're like a reflection of my heart, you know what I mean? Because they're the people that actually listened and like cared, and then I got to meet people before the show, like 50 people before the show every day, and they were like telling me their stories and how they related to the music, and it was just, it was incredible, because I hadn't done it in like seven years. Yeah, and you were writing about something really, really personal, and you're sharing it, and you're, it just turns out it really, a lot of people can relate to it. It's, it was insane, and also it was a magical thing, because... I think for me, now that I'm a mother, I, I really hadn't toured with the boys, you know, and yeah. having them out there, but also seeing, like, dads that were, like, tatted up, like, they'd probably been, like, old school No Doubt fans with their daughter, like, yeah. on their shoulders, like, their first show, you yeah. know, and it was just kind of, the whole thing was full circle and magical and... Did I you was, bring all the kids? I did. We were all, I was, I was so guilty because I was like, I'm going to, you know, they work so hard at school, you know, all year, and then I'm going to drag them around on a bus, like, all summer, but... They had the best time, and I mean, yeah, it's what a bus. Like, it's a lot. Can you imagine three little boys on a bus after you do a show? Like, get to bed! Like, there's like no, you know, it, it's exhausting, but the, it was fun. What an experience for them to be on a bus and to have that, you know, they're going to want you to tour more often just to have that experience. They think they're going on tour in October because of those shows. I'm like, no, it's not tour. It's a couple shows. I mean, the only reason we're not touring is because they're in school. Yeah. But um, the middle boy, Zuma, he was, like, so into it that he actually, I have, like, a quick change where I was changing costumes and stuff he was working it like he had his flashlight headphones he walked me on and off to the stage every single night for two hours he worked back there and he was like so into it there he is there's Zoom. there he is so it was it was you. way more incredible than i could have ever yeah. imagined i'm so grateful to everyone that came out it was just you know when you're face to face it's not like the internet like it's yeah. them it's yeah. those people so it was really cool no it's great that you had to do that and uh the voice is back on obviously you're not there because you're you're touring but um you must be happy because your boyfriend is back in in, in LA now because when he he's not shooting he's in Oklahoma right yes so yeah. he's in LA now well he has a show tonight but somewhere but yeah we've yeah. been um <laughs> <laughs> Why is it all giggly? <laughs> yeah, but I got to go down to the set a few times though, and it was really fun. Like, it's, yeah. it's surreal. You're there, and you're like, I'm, I'm not on the show, and it's Miley, and it's Alicia, and it's they're, like, they're doing really well. Yeah, I mean, I love both of them. They're, yeah, I, I know both of them, and they're both so talented in their own ways, yeah. and it's so funny to see them interact. And Adam actually has been Snapchatting, and I mean, not Snapchatting, but like FaceTiming me all day because he just had his baby. I know, so I saw the baby. So she's oh, adorable. Yeah. yeah, she's cute. Um, Blake makes me laugh so hard, and I tell him this all the time, but oh my God, he's funny. He's so funny. Push and I just crack up every, everything he says and telling that, that Adam looked like a driver waiting to, to drive the, the contestant <laughs> off when he was dressed like that. It's, anyway, I just, I think he's so funny, and I'm so glad y'all are just so happy. Before I make plans, because I, I make plans way ahead of time. Tell me when you're getting married so I don't, because uh, I need to know. I just need to know so I can clear that schedule. Oh, you're crazy. Um, <laughs> just let me know. Okay, I'll let you know. No, now. <laughs> you're also in a new, uh, an animated movie, Trolls, right? With yeah, Justin it, Timberlake. And really, I got to do music with Justin. That's really what it is. And um, it was, it came at a crazy time when I was right in the middle of writing and I didn't even know he was going to be on the project, and I got there, and he's like, I wrote a song for you, and I was like, no way, because I've wanted to work with him forever, I think he's so incredible, yeah. and talented, and magical, and so um, he played me this track, and I was like, what, like, it was so me, and got to record it, and it's going to be in the, in the movie, so... I love him. The, I love him, too. So Justin and uh, Gwen have a song in the upcoming animated film, of course. Everybody in the audience is going to go home with a copy of Trolls' soundtrack. And